I want to share a story with you that is very personal and that has happened to me very recently and how it has changed how I view my life. I recently got into a car accident. It was not my fault, but it was a pretty bad accident. My car is in a total state. I don't have a car anymore. And luckily I got away with just a few scratches because I was wearing my seat belt. So always remember to wear your seat belt. Um, but the problem was now that first I was traumatized, I couldn't drive, I don't have a car and I had to go back to now taking taxis again, which in Dubai at the moment is a huge problem. And one evening after work, I got into a taxi and there was so much traffic, so we were stuck somewhere on Sheikh Zayed Road and I remember just feeling so sorry for myself and I was thinking, God, like, why did this happen? Now, you know, my car is gone, I don't have a car, it's like my freedom has now been hindered and I am back to taking taxis everywhere, which is super annoying. And I was thinking how envious I am of other people who still have their cars, who can drive to work and back from work and here I was stuck in a taxi um, feeling like, you know, my wings have been clipped and I was just really sad about it. And then I looked out of the window and we were actually really close to one of the metro stations. And the way it works in Dubai, there's only one line of the metro that goes and um, then from each station you get these buses that take you to different stops for your destinations. And I saw this guy who was waiting in the queue for the bus because these buses usually come every hour and therefore there's always a huge long queue where people are waiting. Um, so again, there are people who are back from work and it's really hot. They're all queuing and they look like they're sweating. And this guy will, had a crutch. He had one leg that was in a cast and he was waiting in the queue for the bus. But he was listening to music and this guy was bobbing around, looking really happy and just, you know, smiling and, you know, just his vibe was just so positive. And I was thinking, God, this guy has a cast on, is on crutches, is having to stand in a long queue, probably for about an hour, in the heat, at night, waiting for a bus to take him home. So he must have taken the metro. And here I was sitting in a taxi that was being paid by my company in AC that is driving me home and I was complaining. And that gave me such a huge reality check in terms of the fact that I was not being grateful for what I have. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheen. I am currently in Dubai as the CEO of a media company. And on this channel, we explore different ways on how to improve ourselves on a personal and a professional level. And today I want to talk to you about gratitude because I feel like it has been the greatest lesson I've learned in 2022. And as the year wraps up, it's a very good practice to remember all the good things that have happened, but also to remember why being grateful is so important and how we should start 2023 with this practice of being grateful every day. Now, if you're like me and you're a bit of a nerd, I have good news for you. Research has shown that being grateful and just expressing this um, feeling of appreciation for things that happen to you can incredibly improve your quality of life. There are numerous studies that have shown that gratitude can increase your levels of happiness, can reduce depression and can also increase your resiliency. Other studies have shown that people who practice gratitude on a daily basis also tend to experience lower blood pressure, less chronic pain, they can have more energy and can even lead longer lives. Being purposefully grateful has also been linked to higher self-esteem, to a higher likelihood of helping others, to sleeping better, and therefore generally just improved well-being. Now, how does this happen? How does gratitude bring about so many good things in your life? Well, this is very simple. It's because gratitude rewires our brain. It kicks off the production of dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine is the brain's pleasure chemical, so it makes you feel happy about everything. And serotonin is the feel-good hormone. It basically acts like an antidepressant. So now we see, gratitude helps us produce all these happy hormones inside our brain therefore we are much happier and lead better lives so for me personally after living through 2022 I have two takeaway messages 
The first one is just remember to be grateful every day. If we start from a place of gratitude, we are in a better position to receive everything that happens to us on a daily basis from a place of fortune and grace, and therefore we appreciate it better and do not only see doom and gloom. So even if it's a problem, even if it's a challenge that you're dealing with, just remembering to be grateful for the other good things that are happening or for the fact that it is not the worst case scenario that could have happened to you just puts you into this mindset of appreciating the situation and you know just being positive about it because it helps you be in a better mental state and therefore you're in a better position to deal with the situation life is hard and life is hard for everybody you know and it is very easy sometimes to forget this and think that oh why do i have it so hard but you know as robin roberts put it so well she said that if we were all to throw our problems into a pile we would rush in to grab back our own problems when we realize what other people are dealing with. So therefore do not compare your journey to others or don't even compare the good things and the bad things that are happening to you. Bad things happen and that's okay. It's just about learning from it and moving forward. But just remember to show gratitude for what we have. And the second thing is help those who need it. Compassion and empathy are so important on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's see how we can help anyone out there. I know you can think that, well, I can't really do anything for anyone, you know, maybe I'm still a student. Um, but trust me, if you go out there right now, there is someone that you will find that you can somehow impact their lives, even if it is for a matter of moments where you make them smile. So just remember, you are in a position where you can help others, so do it. Now, for me personally, I became more aware of the impacts of gratitude because last December, I made a decision that I was going to try this little experiment um, for just to test out how I feel about gratitude and how does it impact my year. And I'm gonna put the clip that I filmed exactly a year ago. Let's put it there. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I have something very exciting. So today we are the 28th of January, 2022. And I want to share with you this little project that I have started. And hopefully you'll be watching this at the end of 2022, where we will have completed the project. So one current theme of my life, and which I've been thinking about for a while, is just to be a lot more grateful and to show gratitude and to appreciate everything that I have going on. And in order to do that in a very practical way, I decided to do a gratitude jar. So I have this little jar here that I bought. It's really cute. And what I'm gonna do with this jar is I have all of these post notes, post-its, whatever you call them in different colors. And the plan here is every week, I will write one thing on one post-it that I'm very grateful for this week. So just something which overall captures the essence of that week or the happiest thing that has happened or the one thing that really made my week. And so far we are three weeks into January. We have three little pieces in there. Um, fourth one is gonna go in this weekend. So that's exciting and I'm hoping to do this. So we should have about 52 by the end of the year and I will show you the pot that is completely filled out by the end of the year and we can go through some of them that are not too personal and we can share them together. And if you want to start the same thing for next year, I guess, I can't tell you to start it now, but definitely if you want to try it next year, you should do it because I already love it. Every day is such a cool thing every week to just sit down and think, okay, what do I want to write about this week? And it just makes you a little bit more appreciative of what's going on. So hopefully let's go to December, 2022. Woo! And one year later, here we are with the jar full. Here we go, it's completely full. I mean, we have a couple of weeks left from December, so, uh, but it's practically there. So we have about 50 notes in there. When I started doing this experiment, I thought it was really challenging every week to like think what happened this week? Um, what am I really happy about? And then you start to dwell on the bad things that happen. And then I start thinking, hmm, out of all these good things, which one would I prioritize to put in the jar? So it was a bit of a challenge at first, but now it's my favorite time of the week 
where I sit down, it gives me an opportunity to have like a little think back of everything that has happened this week and appreciate all the good things. And realizing that having an issue with deciding which one goes on the sticky note means that there were good things that happened this week. And I have managed to not peek through at all. So now I'm waiting until the end of the year and maybe on New Year's Eve or something, I'm gonna go through it and remember all the good things that have happened this year again to just remind myself of how lucky I am and how I should be grateful for the life that I have. And therefore, practicing gratitude and starting the new year on this positive note of being grateful. And I think that next year I might give myself a bigger challenge. Maybe I'll start doing one a day or maybe you know three or four a week we'll see but we are taking this into the new year for sure and i know other people have different ways of doing this there are gratitude journals some people write their top five some people write their top three whatever approach you choose to go for it is just important to remember to be grateful and now every night before i go to bed i think about the day and i think about one thing that went well and what am i grateful for and it can be simple things as you know i am healthy um, everyone around me is healthy. I have a roof, I have food, I had a good day today. That is incredibly, incredibly lucky, right? And it's just these simple exercises just make you appreciate life more. And you know what? It is just about being grateful for the opportunity that every moment represents for us in terms of being alive. And I will leave you on this really nice note. Of course, if you have other ways of practicing gratitude, please leave them down in the comment section. I would love to see them. Remember, be grateful. You'll be thankful you were. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.